Melania Trump. You know those movies where uh, the beautiful but mysterious woman with a foreign accent is actually a secret assassin? <laughs> well, maybe we should have seen this coming. A dramatic move by Melania Trump that apparently blindsided top White House aides. Melania Trump's office releasing a statement publicly blasting a national security official. The first lady called for Deputy National Security Advisor Mira Ricardo to be fired, complaining directly to her husband about being unhappy with Ricardo during her first solo trip to Africa in October. The two fought over seating on the plane and using National Security Council resources for the trip. The First Lady's office issued a statement saying she no longer deserves the honor of serving in this White House. Sweet Lord, Melania does not mess around. <laughs> we barely hear from her, and then when she does speak, it's to fire somebody? And, like, whatever this lady did must have made Melania so mad, because you realize Trump cheats on her, and she's pretty chill about it. <laughs> But then Melania goes on a flight, and all of a sudden, she's all like, bitch took aisle seat. <laughs> and, like, honestly, I don't even know who this is. Mira Ricardell? Who is this person that they're firing? Like, they're running out of people we know to fire. <laughs> this is like Walking Dead season six. Oh, no, they killed Derek. <laughs> Moving on. The California wildfires continue to destroy homes and property, but some people aren't having it. TMZ is reporting that rapper Kanye West hired a private firefighting team to help his California home keep safe from the wildfire in Malibu. Now, that home sits at the end of a cul-de-sac. If that home caught on fire, it would have led to a ripple effect through the neighborhood, West says. So, the family hired a team of firefighters armed with hoses. It worked. The firefighters saved their $60 million home and several of their neighbors' homes as well. Okay, there's Rich. And then there's private firefighter rich. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty certain their hoses don't even have water. They just use Cristal. <laughs> yeah, you probably didn't even know that Lamborghini made a fire truck, did you? You didn't know that. <laughs> like, I didn't even know that pri fi private firefighters were a thing. But I guess when you're that rich, you just point at someone and they become your personal firefighter. <laughs> just like, hey, you, fight the fire. It's like, screw you, Kanye. How oh, how much? Yeah, yeah, I'm fighting. I'm fighting the fire. <laughs> I'm fighting the fire. I'm a firefighter, a fighter for money. And it's weird that Kanye hired personal firefighters, but it's not the weirdest thing I can imagine him doing. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if he just tried to talk to the fire about his theories on creativity. <laughs> and after 10 minutes, the fire's like, you know what, I'm, I'll just put myself out. I'm, <laughs> I'm done. Moving on to other news, Fortnite. It's a game about killing everyone in sight, and now it's about to get violent. The NFL is partnering with the popular video game Fortnite, and it's creating some controversy. Players are using the NFL uniforms now available in the game to create controversial players. Among them is one avatar that looks like Aaron Hernandez holding a gun. Players have also made characters that look like O.J. Simpson and Colin Kaepernick. Okay, now, first of all, that's a weird list of controversial players. <laughs> a convicted murderer, a guy accused of double murder, and a guy who kneeled a few times. <laughs> Okay, news, fair enough. And also, why put OJ into Fortnite? It's literally bring a knife to a gunfight. That's a waste of time. <laughs> and I love Colin, but he's gonna be useless in Fortnite. Everyone's shooting and he's just taking a knee behind the bush. What good is that? <laughs> we see you, Colin! We see you!